simplify fully writing your answers with positive indices. So these are problem with uh, indices. So let's look at the first question. First question is 25a to the power negative 8 to the power half. So when you have a power which is half, I would think to change this as 25 as a power of mm, 2. So 25, well, I can say 25 is 5 squared. So I write 5 squared times a to the power negative 8 as it is raised to half. Now, when you got a power of a power, you need to multiply the power. So this is 5 to the power 2 times half and a to the power negative 8 times half. So you have to multiply both the power with this power, which is outside, which is 5 to the power 1 times a to the power negative 4. So 5 to the power 1 is nothing but 5. 5 over 1, I'll write 5 over 1 times. This has a negative power. So you need to remember this rule or know this rule. a to the power negative n is equal to 1 over a to the power n. That means when you have a negative power, it will change its place. So you remember when it has got a negative power, change its place. So P and P. Negative power, change its place. That means from the numerator, it comes to the denominator. So this will swap around. So here, this has a denominator. So this will go up and this will come down. So this is 1 over a to the power 4. So this is nothing but 5 times 1 over 1 times a to the power 4. So your final answer is 5 over 5 over a to the power 4 is your final answer. So this is your answer. Okay, moving on to the next question. It is 16x to the power 8 to the power negative 3 quarters. Okay, so I, I see a quarter here. So I'm thinking, I can I write 16 as a power of 4? So well, I can say 16 is 2 to the power of 4 times x to the power 8 times minus 3 quarters. So I'll do it now directly. So you have to multiply power of power. So let me do one most. In this example, let me do the whole thing. It's 4 times negative 3 quarters and x to the power 8 times negative 3 quarters. So you can use a calculator. So 4 times 3 quarters, negative 3 quarters is negative 3. This 4 and this 4. This is how I do off my, uh, in my head. So 4 and 4 gets cancelled and 8 goes in, sorry, 4 goes in 8 2 times. So this is x to the power negative 6. So both have got negative power. So this will become 1 over 2 q times 1 over x to the power 6, which is 1 over 8 times 1 over x to the power 6. So your final answer is 1 over 8x to the power 6. You can pause the video at any stage and try to do yourself. Okay, that would be, so this is a challenging question, 16 x minus 8, sorry, x minus 2 over 8 to the power 3 minus x. So, well, I'm looking at this 16 and 8, and I know 16 and 8 can be written as a power of 2. So this becomes 16 I'm going to write as 2 to the power of 4 raised to x minus 2 over 8 can be written as 2 to the power 3 raised to 3 minus x. So this becomes, multiply the power by, uh, power to the power. So this is 2 to the power, 4 times x is 4x, and 4 times minus 2 is 4x minus 8, over 2 to the power 9 minus 3x. So now I have to take away powers, you're dividing powers, or you take away the indices, so this is 2 to the power 4x minus 8, 
take away 9 minus 3x. So now you have to do a little of algebra. So this is 2 to the power 4x minus 8 minus 9 plus 3x. So this is, I'll do one more step. So this is 2 to the power 4x plus 3x minus 8 minus 9. So the final answer in terms of 2, or two, this is nothing but 2 to the power 7x minus 17. And this is your final answer. You can't uh, simplify this. You can simplify this a little, but I'll leave this answer. Okay, I was, okay. I'll leave this answer. Okay, so if you want to simplify this a little, so this is nothing but uh, 2 to the power 7x over 2 to the power 17. Okay, so this and this are the same. So just to change the to differentiate the power and the number. So 2 to the power 17 is a huge number, so I'll leave this that as it is. Okay, let's look at the last question. So this is cube root of x cube divided by fourth root of x to the power 7. So let me write a rule here. That you, it's a good rule to remember. If it is x to the power 1 over n, if you have a fractional index, if it's 1 to the power n, this means it is nth root of x. So what does this mean? Suppose you have x to the power 1 quarter. One x to the power 1 quarter means this is fourth root of x. If you have x to the power, say, 1 ninth, this means this is the ninth root of x. So this, I'm going to write this as square root, so x square root is x cubed to the power half. Square root has a power of half, you don't write two there, it's understood. And fourth root means this is x to the power seven raised to one quarter. So this is nothing but x to the power three halves over x to the power seven quarters. So when you're dividing powers, you take away the indices. So this is x to the power 3 halves, take away 7 quarters. Now when you take simplifying fractions, you have to make the denominators equal. 6 halves is, sorry, 3 halves is 6 quarters. 6 quarters minus 7 quarters. And this is nothing but x to the power negative 1 quarter. And x to the power negative 1 quarter is nothing but 1 over x to the power 1 quarter. And this as writing as a root. So this is 1 over fourth root of x is your final answer.